Welcome back to part three of the uh, Dental Scrap Recovery Refining Series of videos. If you look down here, you can see that we've got some metal accumulated down on the bottom of this beaker. But if you notice that the color of the solution has turned back to a uh, amber, red, brown color, that means that some of the metals have gone back into solution. This is one of the baffling features of platinum group metals. If you leave them set, in that solution, they will want to go back into solution, redissolve. First thing we want to do is uh, add a little bit of hydrochloric acid to the solution. Not very much, just a little bit. Now I'll add a couple more pieces of zinc in here and uh, get the rest of this solution to clear up. I've got everything to uh, out of solution. So what we'll do now is we're going to transfer this material to a clean beaker, and it'll be a little easier to work with. I think you can see here that the uh, it's already starting to try to go back in solution in here. So I'm going to pour this liquid off of our uh, metal, some of it anyway. Here's our metal down in the bottom of the beaker. Pretty much. I'm going to add some distilled water to this. Here you can see it's still got a little bit of zinc in there that's out gassing. So we'll just let this uh, let this continue to react. Mixed black PGM powders down at the bottom of this beaker. I'm going to hit it with a little hydrochloric acid, and this will tell me if there's any more zinc in here. And you can see the zinc reacting with that hydrochloric acid. zinc out of there is just hit it with some hydrochloric acid until there's no more reaction and then we can uh, pretty much conclude that all the uh, zinc has been dissolved. We don't want to let, let it sit in this hydrochloric acid for too long or it'll start to uh, re-dissolve. So I'm going to get rid of this charge of hydrochloric acid. One more hydrochloric acid rinse. Make sure I've got all the little pieces of zinc dissolved out of there. As you can see here, they don't see a whole bunch of. Uh, that's kind of hard to tell. You can see the color of the solution start to uh, turn. That's because if you leave it set inside the hydrochloric acid too long, 
that finely divided black powder and try to go back in solution. Let's pour this off of here. do now is just cover this up with some distilled water. And then figure out what we're going to do for the next step. Here's our mixed black PGM powders in distilled water. But before I get going here, I've got some waste that I've accumulated. And what we're going to do is add this waste to my stock pot but as you can see my stock pot is full these waste solutions contain platinum group metals which are highly toxic in solution so the first step in the waste treatment process is to remove the toxic platinum group metals in my stock pot stock pot's going to have pieces of copper in it. Right now we're going to siphon out this copper solution down into my waste treatment bucket down here that's full of iron. This stock pot is full of pieces of copper and then uh, the platinum group metals will cement out on that copper fall to the bottom of the bucket as a black mud and then we can recover them later on. the nasty platinum group metals in here in my stock pot with metallic copper the copper will go into solution the platinum group metals will come out of solution and when the reaction is complete all I'll have in here is copper in solution then I transfer that down into my waste treatment bucket that's full of angle iron and the copper will come out of solution on the angle iron and the iron will go into solution. Let's reach in here and get a, uh, a pH reading on this uh, liquid in here just as a baseline. You can see it's pH of one, highly acidic. So now what we're gonna do is rinse this over and over with hot distilled water. Let's get in here and check our pH. That's pretty close to neutral. So it's pretty safe now to conclude that all the uh, zinc has been rinsed off of our black PGMs. Do a water bath here to dry off the metal so we can get a weight on it. Weight is critical for the next step. Here's a look at the metal down in there. I don't know if you can see it real good or not. But, uh, mixed black PGM powders. 
going to fill up our container with some water, add some heat to it, and use a water bath to dry the black PGM powders. Okay, our mixed black PGM powders are bone dry now. Nice and dry, loose. We're gonna go in and get a weight on this material now. I've got the weight of the beaker, 266.1. And this is critical for the next part of the process. So we got 273.9 minus 266.1 equals. So we've only got about 7.8 grams of uh, mixed black PGMs. I was hoping for more, about 10 is what we really need. But uh, we'll go ahead and go with this. So uh, I guess this will conclude part three now. We've got our clean metal here in this beaker. And uh, we'll pick right back up with part four. That'll conclude the video. Thank you for watching.